Week 10 is done and dusted. It's in the books. We've reached the end of the week. We've had our summer celebration. We've had our house sports day. So many things have been going on, but it is time for another weekly assembly video. So I will pass you over to our school captains, Hifsa and Tapora. Hifsa. And I'm Tapora. And we, we are, are the school, school captains. captains. We acknowledge the Aboriginal people as the traditional owners of this land and we pay our respects to elders past and present. We will now recite our school oath. The flag reminds us that Australia is our home. We respect our parents, friends, teachers, school and community. We believe that everyone is important and deserves a fair go. We want to make Bethel a fair, safe and happy place for everyone. Everyone please stand up quietly. Hi, my name is Nella. Um, I'm the Community Hub Leader at Bethel Primary School. As you can see, we've got many exciting programs for parents, so please come along and join us. something very very nice about you last week now the first thing I noticed is that you did a fantastic job at the house sports day is that right you were in a whole lot of races how many first places did you get three you came th first place three times well done because I noticed and Mr Warren noticed too you are a lightning fast runner yes very very good do you practice your running a lot you do and you would have got a few first place ribbons is that right yeah, you would have got the blue ribbons for coming first, which is fantastic. But I heard you did something with those ribbons. What did you do? I gave them away. You gave them away? So you came first in your race, and you got first place ribbons to show off, but you gave them away? Why did you give them away, Katie? Because I felt bad for anyone that didn't have any ribbons. So you, there were some people that didn't have any ribbons at all, and Katie felt, you know what? Although I'm really proud of my first place ribbons here, I might give them to some of these children and brighten up their day. What a lovely thing to do, Katie. Do you know what we're gonna do to, to, to say thank you and to show that we really appreciate how much you care about others in our school? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you another first place ribbon. Now, I want you to keep this one, all right? I'm not gonna give this one away, so make sure you have at least one, because you did come first, didn't you? All right, so I'll give that to you. Thank you. But the other thing we're going to do is we're going to give you a Spotlight Award. Okay, now do you know what a Spotlight Award is? What's a Spotlight Award? A Spotlight Award is where um, you go, like, I think it's like um, where you go on an adventure. You go on an adventure. Well, that, that's kind of true. Your Spotlight Award means you get special recognition. So this is going to be in our assembly video on, on Friday. Uh, people will be seeing what a wonderful job you've done. 
The other thing that happens is you get 10 house points. So what house are you in? Thornbill. So for Thornbill, I've just picked up 10 house points, which is fantastic. And the other thing you get to do is you get to have a special lunch of anything you like. We have a special lunch with myself and Mr. Warren. Hey, eh? how does that sound? Good. Congratulations, Cody. It's well deserved. I was so happy when I heard that you did that because I thought, you know what? Doesn't that show how much our students care about each other and they look out for each other? It's a really nice thing. So good on you, Cody. Keep doing what you're doing, mate. We're very proud of you. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you this week's House Points update. It will be the final update before I announce the Term 4 winner at next week's assembly. So you've got one more week to earn House Points for your house. So this week in fourth place on 846 points is Thornbill. In third place on 897 points is Lorikeet. In second place on 913 house points, we have Kingfisher. And in the lead this week on 930 points, we have Rosella. So still very close. Keep earning those house points to help your house win. Hello again. I am here to announce the winner of the Term for Attendance Award. I'm announcing this early because we need to organize your special excursion for winning this term. So the lucky class that had the best attendance is going to go to Bounce on Monday the 18th of December, which is the last Monday of school for the year, which is very exciting. So drum roll. The class that has won this award with a really good attendance this term of 92.8% is 1-2-K. Yay! <laughs> My last announcement for today is very, very special. I'm here to also let you know of the house that has won the overall house points competition for the whole year. So that means I've tallied up every single house point that you've all earned for showing our school values across the year, and one house has got the biggest total. So this coming Monday on the 11th of December, that lucky house is gonna to get to participate in a really fun and interactive incursion at school. So if you're in this winning house, make sure you come to school this Monday to celebrate and receive your prize. So I'm not gonna go through all the scores, I'm just gonna reveal the winning house. A very, very big congratulations to Rosella. Hello girls, boys and community. Huge, huge week here. In fact, a couple of huge weeks here at Bethel Primary School. In particular, the beautiful house sports uh, day that we had last week. And today we had our summer celebration. Thank you again to Miss Jong uh, for the amazing effort that you put in, but she wasn't alone. There was also so many other helpers um, uh, on the day. So thank you all. Hope you have a magnificent weekend. We're nearly at the end of the school year, but we're not there yet. So let's keep on keeping on. But until I see you all next week, that is me signing off.